Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss base rate and percentage. But in this video lesson, we focus on finding the base. Before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our video lesson and subscribe na rin kayo. Our objectives, first, identify and define base, rate, and percentage. Next, explain the relationship between base, rate, and percentage and solve the base. So what is base? Base refers to the number of which a certain number of hundreds is taken. Base and percentage are compared to obtain the rate. As the basis of comparison, base is the number generally preceded by the words of, as much as, as large as, as many as, and as great as. Also, it is regarded as the whole. So for example, class, if we take 50, no, 50 as the whole, and we take 20 as the part, the base is 50. So, kung ano yung whole, kung ano yung uh, given. No? So, 50 is the whole, the percentage is 20, since that is the part. Uh, we take 20 from 50, so 20 is the percentage. And if we're going to find the rate, 20 over 50. So, ganun ang pagkuha natin. Again, so, kung meron tayong halimbawa na 50 as a whole, so yung 50 na yon that is our base. And then, if we take 20 mula dun sa 50, yung 20 na yon yun yung percentage natin. At kapag kukunin natin yung rate, that is 20 over 50. So, yun ang pagkakaiba ng tatlo. So, in finding the base, the base is the number on which a rate is applied. So, using the formula, so, kung kukunin natin yung base, the formula is the percentage divided by the rate. So, yung P natin, that is percentage. Yung R natin, that is the rate. So, for example, 20 is 40% of what number? So, hinahanap natin yung base dito. So, first, identify the given. So, ano yung mga given natin? 20 is the percentage kasi ayun 20 is a uh, part from the whole. And then, yung rate natin is 40%. Kadalasan class, yung rate merong percent sign. Okay? So, yung rate natin is 40% or kapag kinonvert natin into decimal, that is 0 0.40. So, applying the formula, so substitute lang natin yung given natin, which is 20 and 0 0.40. So, 20 divide 0 0.40, the answer is 50. Ibig sabihin class, yung 40% ng 50 ay 20. Okay, so again, the answer is 50. Next, 60 is 2 thirds of what number? So, identify the given. So, what are the given? So, 60 is the percentage and the rate is 2 thirds. So, uh, minsan, hindi kanina, sabi ko, laging may percent sign. So, pinsan fraction na yung given. So, makikita nyo naman yung arrangement kapag sa pag ganito yung binigay no, na problem. So, yung rate natin dito is 2 turns. So, using the formula, percentage divide rate, substitute only the, uh, we are going to substitute the given value. So, 60 divided by 2 turns. So, paano tayo nagdi-divide ulit ng fractions? So, ginagawa natin, Kukunin natin yung reciprocal ng divisor and proceed to multiplication. So, maging 60 times 3 over 2. So, dito pwede tayo magumamit ng cancellation. So, 60 divided to that is 30. So, maiwan na lang. 30 times 3, the answer is 90. Ibig sabihin, 2 third ng 90 ay 60. Another example. 25% of what number is 120? So, again, 25% of what number is 120? So, what are the given? So, first, the percentage is 120 and the rate is 25% or in decimal, that is 0 0.25. So, using the formula, percent, uh, our percentage divided by the given rate, so that is 120 divided by 0 0.25, the answer is 480. So, 25% ng 420, uh, 480, the answer is 120. Next, 
a number five times as many as 20 is one fourth of what number? So again, medyo uh, pag binasa natin, me medyo magulo siya, no? A number five times as many as 20 is one fourth of what number? So ang gawin natin dito is translate natin into what? Mathematical equation, no? I-translate natin. Kasi para mas madali natin makita at ma-solve. So, 5 times as many as 20. So, ilagay natin 5 times. Okay. As many as 20. So, 5 times as many as 20. Pag yung word na is, that is equals. Ang nirepresent niyan. Equals to 1 fourth of what number? So, i-represent natin yung what number sa B. Kasi base ang hinahanap. No? So, 1 fourth times. So, yung of na yan, ang ibig sabihin nito ay multiplication kapag translate natin. So, magiging ano siya? B. So, B yung representation natin dun sa number na hinahanap natin. Yung one port nung hinahanap natin. So, that is the base. So, 5 times 20 is equal to one port times B. So, pwede na rin na kahit tanggalin nyo na yung uh, multiplication symbol, one port B na lang ang ilagay nyo. So, paano natin gagawin to So, i-simplify muna natin. 5 times 20, that is 100. 1 times B, that is B over 4. So, paano natin kukunin yung base? I-multiply lang natin. Cross multiplication. So, 100 times 4. B is equal to 100 times 4. The answer is 400. So, yung base natin dito ay 400. So, kung kukunin natin class, uh, it pag natin, yung 1 fourth, Okay, 1 fourth ng 400 natin ay 100 Para ma-check natin lang Okay, again So, yung 1 fourth ng 400 natin, the answer is 100 To check kung yung sagot natin ay tama Next Mr. Casciano failed 20 students Which is 25% of the students enrolled in his two classes of business mathematics how many students were enrolled in his business mathematics classes? So, first, identify the given. So, yung 20 natin dito is what? The percentage. Okay? That is the number of students who failed. And yung rate natin dito ay 25% or that is 0 0.25. So, the percent of students who failed. So, applying the formula for finding the base. So, P over R, so 20 divided by 0 0.25, the answer is 80. So, ibig sabihin class, 80 lahat ng studyante ni Mr. Casciano. And then, 20, oh, kasi sabi dito, 25% from 80 ay bumagsak. So, ito yon. So, 25% ng 80, the answer is 20. Next, so, 80 students enrolled in two classes. No? Next, a vehicle is insured for 225000 If this amount is 25% of the purchase price, what is the purchase price of the vehicle? So, for 225000 that is the percentage, the, the insured amount. And then, uh, the rate is 25%, the percent insured. So, you, again, using the formula, substitute lang natin yan, 225000 Divided by 0 0.25, the answer is 900,000. Ibig sabihin, 900,000 purchase price. Another problem, if I have 25 pesos, which is represent one part of my entire money, how much money do I have in all? So, kung titingnan natin, so, yung 25 pesos ay one part ng entire money niya. So, alam naman natin na ang um, one part is 25%, no? So, makukuha agad natin yung sagot. Kung one fourth ito ng buong money niya, so, ibig sabihin, imumultiply lang natin ito, eh, 25 times one fourth. So, that is, what? Ay, ibig sabihin pala, 20, so, meron sa 100%, 25% yung 25 pesos. So, sa 100%, ilang 25% apat. So, kung titignan lang natin, uh, without using the formula, alam na agad natin yung sagot. Okay. But applying the formula, para alam natin, so, 
the percentage is 25 pesos and the rate is one fourth. So applying the formula 25 divided by one fourth or 20, uh, by dividing, applying the division of fraction. So ang gagawin lang natin class. So get the reciprocal of your divisor and proceed to multiplication. So 25 times 4 that is 100. So kanina kahit dito pa lang sa problem, kaya-kaya niyo nang sagutan. Bakit? So sa 100% uh, meron tayong apat na 25%, right? So 25 pesos times 4 that is 100 pesos. So meron the answer is 100 pesos. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.